But all I can say, heaven on... And we're off and running between these two really accomplished fighters. Let's see how they come out. He misses with that jab. Oh, and he caught him with a stiff jab. Beautiful counter shot. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Nice counter shot with the right hand. They exchange punches. Have you ever danced with the devil under the pale moonlight? That's what these two men are about to go through as they've been talking so much trash on social media. It's time to settle the score. Some nice exchanges from both men in this ring. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Good left counter that lands. Nice punch. Punch. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. That was almost a 10 8. And there's the bell for round two. Fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. Terrorized him into not wanting to throw a punch because they don't even see the shot leaving. Do you believe what we are seeing? Someone use a jab here to establish a boxing presence, but no, they just want to fight. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He threw the hook, didn't land. He got his gloves up to block the left jab. Then step back for just a moment. Neither man really defending themselves. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. I seriously... Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? As it is in most heavyweight fights, don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. How's that carry so much power? Of course they're going to look for that knockout because it makes a night a little bit shorter. You don't get paid any extra for overtime. And he misses with that jab. You 
can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Nice exchange here from both men. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. Dominance without a doubt made look so, so easy. He's ready to go. He's absolutely shattered. Look at him. He's absolutely knackered there. He's knackered. And there's the bell to start round four. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable, drag them, get them complaining to the referee. Because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with it? Swing and a miss with that left hook. These two are the perfect dance partners. So much for boxing, this is a fist fight. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Competitive round with 10 seconds left. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. Back into the fray here in round five. And he just missed with that left jab. Seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. Todd, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. That punch scores. Score again with the left hand. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. That left scores. This fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. They'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. 
Let me explain to you about a fast fighter, a fast fighter that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed, they're confident, they know they just have to push their boom. In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed, and that's why they can maintain this all the way through a fight. And the referee taking a good look at him. Wouldn't be surprised if he stops it here. What a shot that put him down. Trying to make it up before 10, but take all the time you can. Two, three, four, five, six. You've got to wonder how big of a factor that knocked him. Here's the bell to start round six. Showing exceptional chins, by the way. He just misses with that big right hand. He missed with that jab. Talk about a fighter having power. Don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That could be the real difference. You've got to be courageous when you're getting in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain man. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. And this is that jab. Step back for just a moment. He just misses with that jab. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. We know they've got the advantage so far, but there's the bell to start round seven. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym, you can do it in the fight. They've got to relax. Swing and a miss with the jab. Exchange here from both men. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Touch, you know what? Sometimes on a belly ring with fights like that, and you punch them, you just want to run. An upset of the year, perhaps right before our eyes. Just one punch away from getting the momentum back. Good one. Another scoring shot there. That punch lands. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Well, there was 
no doubt about who won that round. You can't leave it up to the... And we enter the eighth round. Got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with it? When you've been a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. And he finished the job. Clock is ticking. They got him hurt, but can they finish? An avoided catastrophe there. His jab just got blocked. This is the biggest moment of his life. Can he seize it? Can he take control and put him out? Can they figure out the combination to this save? He's got to do something. Looks like they've shaken it off. can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. It's so the one who draws first blood type. That's what you've got to look at. If you quit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. And there's the bell to start round nine. Jab misses. Talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Neither man really defending themselves. They're both trying for a knockout. Punch. Why aren't they keep? He's down, and the referee has started the count. What a shot that put him down! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's not over till it's over, but that knockdown. And here comes the 10th round. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get bented. This is one of the 
best rounds I've seen this year. Neither fighter willing to slow down. Couldn't land that jab. Changes from both men in this round. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. This can be so frustrating. When you're in such a fast counter, fast counter that can throw three full shot combinations before you even let one up. That creates frustration, and that's when it gets hard. Oh, and he cut. like he's going to survive the round here, but just bear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're out. So time to go celebrate after another knockout win here. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. You see shots like that in the gym. At least for once, this is on TV. Thousands around the world saw that shot. They probably even heard it. 